All right, everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. How are you today? It is Tuesday, December 11, 2018. So, uh, wow. Um, okay, here we go. Let, let's start off with this. Uh, as I'm doing this video blog right now, uh, stocks are off to the races. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is up about 300 points. So what's driving this? I, I don't know what to do. Laugh or cry. More, more likely laugh. Uh, well, apparently, uh, there's a rumor uh, being floated out here uh, that there are new talks with regard to this uh, China trade issue. Um, and the market's all gleeful right now without any concrete evidence of a darn thing. You know, the last time we heard about this, it turned out to be completely fake. Remember that? Um, there's already talk out here uh, that this uh, rumor, whatever it might be, that's being floated out here, uh, our president was touting it earlier, is simply a ploy to stop the bleeding in the stock market. For all I know, this is 100% true. You know, fool me once, okay. Uh, I don't even believe a darn thing anymore that I hear from anyone. That's the truth. So until we get some concrete information out here that there's something real, consider it fake. Consider what you're seeing right now to be nothing but a ploy to stop the bleeding in the stock market. Um, and we've seen this before. I mean, they really think we are dumb. Um, so for my lions out here, be very careful today trying to enter any new positions off of, of this so-called news. It's probably fake news regarding renewed talks with China. Let's see what China has to say about this. Let's see what kind of rumors come out. Um, I'm just frankly sick of it beyond my eyeballs. That's the truth. Now let's look at a couple of other things that are going on here. The dollar is stronger. The stronger dollar here is sending a signal that perhaps this rumor is not real. How is that? How does that work? The dollar is considered a big time safety trade. Uh, if you see the dollar rising, the dollar value rising, it means that something is wrong generally in the market uh, initially. Again, it's a knee jerk reaction. We know where this is going in the long long run. There's no doubt about it. But right now, the dollar uh, strength is telling me something that what we're seeing here in the market may bleed off. It may not bleed off. But again, let's look at a few other things. So we have the dollar telling us, hold on a second, maybe this isn't real. Uh, the bond market, another one, that rift still exists. The inversion between the two, three, and five, uh, the long, longer end of the curve, the 10 year is still being suppressed here. So there's still that safety play too. So we're not getting any real clues here from the debt market. All we are getting is nonsense spewing out of the lying mouths of politicians. So let's see how this plays out. Be, if you do enter a new position, um, make sure you're buying out. Actually, you shouldn't be doing that at all. You should be entering a credit spread that expires several weeks out about 10% below the current strike price of the underlying stock. You understand? Um, I, I don't buy this right now. I just really just don't do it. I don't buy it. Let's look at a couple of other things that are going on. Cryptocurrencies right now are getting hit yet again. I'm going to share something with you. I have a friend of mine um, who trades these cryptos and he's been insanely accurate with this whole thing as of late. Now he has a price target on Bitcoin of 2800 in the not so distant future. Keep in mind, this is not me, I'm just sharing this with you, a conversation I had. Um, may be true, may not be true, but he's been pretty good lately. I've been talking to this guy for a few months now. Um, so maybe a 28, a hundred price target in the short run with regard to Bitcoin will reevaluate at that point. I'm not saying you should buy it at that point. I'm just sharing this with you, okay? I don't want any of my words to get twisted because they always do. All right? This is just something I'm passing on.
<laughs> You've got, from a guy who seems to know what he's talking about when it comes to cryptos. Again, I don't really follow it too much anymore. I do watch the price action to gauge risk in the market. Well, look what's going on here. Cryptos are bleeding off. That could mean that the stocks are going to give up these gains. We have the safety play in the dollar, the safety play in, in bonds. So this should really give you a clue that until we hear something real, it's not real. You got it. It's just so simple. Uh, gold and silver both catching a bid here as well. Despite the dollar being stronger, that may be a signal. But again, there is no price discovery mechanism whatsoever, and I mean zero, when it comes to uh, gold and silver. It's not real. Uh, everything is fake. I just don't know how to put that. And this this thing that got floated out of here is probably fake too. We'll see what happens with that over the next day or two. It's just going to be fun and interesting. All right, with that said, let's keep our eyes on all this. And uh, if any of you hear any concrete evidence that this is real, it's not just fake, well, let me know about it. And let me know what you think. Is this a ploy right now? Is this a freaking ploy to stop the bleeding in the stock market? Or do you believe this time it's actually real? All right, with that said, well, I'll see you all at the end of the day. Wow.